about a diesel heater. This is the manual that comes with it. This is what the one I got looks like, except mine is in white and it has the single output instead of the four outputs. I didn't want to deal with four hoses. I only wanted to deal with one that I could run up into the rooftop tent. Now this is a another type you can get to like mount inside a van or in a camper. Pretty thick book comes with it. But you've got your exhaust hose. This will be the heater hose, which I'll be getting an extension, probably a different one to uh, a lot longer than this. And then you've got your intake hose, your fittings for your hoses and stuff, your little remotes in there. And then this is, it come with the baffle, so it makes it quieter when it's running. Let's see, this is the heater housing itself. This is a diesel XMZ-D1, 12 volt, 40 watts. And it, I got the biggest one at eight kilowatts. And I'm afraid it's made in China. They are called China heaters. I have to read the instructions, see what all we got going here. Got the remote hanging right on the front. This is the remote. It's got a little clip that it's going to be fitting in right here. Just like that. That's where your exhaust fan with the hot air, that's going to come out there. That's what's going to do blow into your tent. The diesel tank is on the top. Let's pull these clips down. I believe there's two on the other side. should pull off let me set you now this should pull up they're all on clip except for this one Nothing to be holding it that I can see. But yeah, take this cap off. Now come on. Okay, you get that off. Let's see the side. That's your tank. Decent tank. Looks like everything is hooked up already. I'll get y'all closer in just a minute. I don't see a fuel filter, a diesel filter on this, so I will be getting one and putting in the fuel line. Let me grab y'all. It's like about a gallon fuel tank and then there's your little fuel pump and it's in a rubber housing and then your fuel line going to your tank but there's no filter I'll be putting a inline filter in here and of course this unit here is the heater part of it 
And I'll have to just read the instructions to see how everything gets hooked up. The exhaust and intake fittings. Let's see if I can lay this over without making a big mess. As you can see, I, I laid it on its side. And you've got your exhaust and your intake air on the bottom here where your metal hose and your uh, fresh air hose is going to hook up. And you want to be sure you keep your exhaust hose away from this diesel line. And I will show all this later hooked up. And uh, I have to go get some diesel and a fuel filter. And I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and put everything together. Uh, and I'll explain more after I do it. It's, it's like I said, it's pretty simple. I had to read which one this is. I'm figuring this one may be the exhaust, and then you'll have your intake, and then this is like a little muffler. So you hook, and I'm not, I'll have to figure out which one's which. I'm pretty sure that that one should be exhaust. And it'll come down and you hook your little muffler up to that. And I'm hoping, I may have to make me a, a bracket to raise this up so this don't hit the ground. And it, I do see some damage. This has bent up a little bit from shipping. And I will, I'll just flatten that out myself. It's just thin metal. So I can fix that. And uh, like I said, over in here. Is your remote. And this is your fresh air filter. That you're going to put on your fresh air line. So everything is pretty straightforward. Other than, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to check out my electrical 12 volt hookup because I see a fuse and it looks like I'm going to have to put my own clips on. It looks like you're just going to use a either bolt it to your you either have to put some clips on it or for a 12 volt battery or uh, put some eye hooks on it or some I ends on it so you can use you know put it on a bolt but I, like I said I hook all this stuff up and then I'll show it to y'all later but this is basically just the un unboxing of it so we'll see how things go and I'll get with y'all later